two, one. All right, here we have our patient. Uh, what we're gonna do, we, we're doing our liposuction right now for excess, then we're gonna do a pectopexy. Not a mastopexy, that's for women. This is a man, we're doing a pectopexy. So we do start with our liposuction. I've already done a little bit. This is like a cooking show, so some of it we've already done. Go across this way. Good. And then we're gonna go up into this direction. Pitch is moving just a little bit. Up in this direction. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is a drawn out area. So this is our pectopexy. It's an Easter egg. It's an eccentric skin excision. So we're just gonna remark this out. Little juice. Good, and then we're gonna take the 15 blade next. Some more juice. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two different songs. Two different songs. <laughs> and I was singing a, a, a third song. I'm just going to go on the inside of the circle. Good, so this is, we're gonna de-epithelialize it. De-ep, de-ep it. And then I'm gonna go in and get my gland. Might as well just get this done right now. So we're uh, not wasting time later with all this bloody fluid, but it's good to do it now because we use the skin's resistance to be able to de-ep this. Your first timber. You have to be careful, you don't want to take out too much and leave a dish pan deformity. So, we're going to do this a nice, generous incision because we do our mastopexy, but normally we don't take this large of an incision to perform this. Okay, so here we are. Can I get a pickup? So I've done my liposuction. We've excised the gland. This is what it looks like after the glands come out. And then, are the glands already in the bucket, guys? Yes. Okay, that's fine. So we've excised the gland. This is our, our penrose right here. You can see, see it running underneath. So this is egress coming out. I'm gonna use two of Vicros to reapproximate the tissues here. Okay. okay, this is our needle for our hitch lift. A little dipping juice. This is a needle for our hitch lift. These are our vectors for the hitch lift. Here and here. We protect the neck with a dog collar. And then we're just gonna sneak underneath here. I have it, but it's still in the containers. There you go. Protected by the neck, there's a needle. All controlled. Can you stitch? Stitch. You thread the zero PDL quill, so it's kind of. Now we're going to bring it through very carefully. Through. Scissors. Yes. Band is going to cut the loop. We're going to go through the other side. Watch your needle. I want to stay away from that tree. Stay away, from, stay away from our drain. Have perfect control of the direction of the needle. Okay, give me the... So what you really do is you don't force it through the skin, you bring the skin through the needle. The other way around. There we go. You're not, you're not, you're not doing it like a harpoon. 
Now we're gonna gently bring it through the tissues. Gently, 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 gently. Make sure that it doesn't involve our drain, which it does not. Good. Cut your loop. So we've closed our pocket there. We have egress, so any blood or fluid is going to get out. So Diana's going to staple for me this time. I'm going to staple this baby up. Bam. What you can do is you can do it in thirds. So two, two triangles. But what we need to do is we need to cheat down a little bit. Good. Because we need to move all this upper stuff down below and cheat it. All right, so here we are. We put on our drain up in the corner. It's going down here. This is for egress. I put in my, we've tailor tacked it up. It looks beautiful. Now it's giving us our lift. Uh, we've done the liposuction down in this area. So now we're going to bring this together. So we're going to start with the 3 0 Micro. I already started on this side. I already started at 5 o'clock. On that side, I already started at 7 o'clock. So we did a 3-0 to bring it in, our purse string. Then I put interrupted 4-0s buried. Now this is my last chance. I want to trim it up. It really does make a difference. This is where you really win. If you have two circles, a circle within the circle, and they, and they kind of match up, you're going to pretty much, you're going to pretty easily match up with that, with what's going on with your final closure. So it really does make a difference. Just the very top of the skin, to just kind of go around and just make sure you have a circle with a circle and they, they match up. If, they, if, they're completely, if there's complete discrepancy, then obviously you're going to have tension on it that's going to cause it to be wide or be long or something, or be teardropped or something like that. If you don't have a circle within a circle, that sort of match at this point. Okay, good. So our, this is a piece de resistance. So this is our 4 plain gut. And I've done both. I've buried these, but I, I just find I don't have as much control and I've gone back to running them right on top of the skin. I think this gives me really good control of what the of how round and how nice it's gonna look. So let's, let's see how this looks. Of the epidermis together. So it's not a lot of strength in the layer. The strength is all the vicros, the four and three vicro below. This is just get the skin edges to kiss. So there we go, nice and round. It's pretty even. I think this guy's gonna be very happy with it. There's no dishpan deformity. There's a little swelling, but that'll come down and it's gonna be it's gonna be even. The main thing is that you don't take out too much tissue and then have a dishpan deformity. We've also already put in, interesting, our thread lift. So this uh, thread lift is gonna lift up the tissues um, up there. This is a zero PDO coil suture. Good. Okay, here we are with the final result. So Nice round areola, nice round, pretty good, equal size. We think we have equal size. Now we're gonna do our chest lift. So what we do, Diana, can you help me with it? So what we're gonna do is lift. We overcorrect, so you can see it full and pulling on the tissue. Bring the tissue down like that and snap flush with the skin, boom. Flush with the skin, boom. So that's gonna lift, it releases from the skin there, very easy. This is on this side, pull it away. Flush with the skin on this side. There we go. Flush with the skin. There we go. So that's our thread lift. That's our final result. Gynecomastia removal, an eccentric Easter egg pectopexy. Pectopexy. Yes, I said it correctly. And then we're gonna we did aggressive liposuction through here and underneath to give more definition with a PDO quill thread lift. Thank you very much.